What's going on, everybody? This is Jay Ghost, and I wanted to sit here and talk about... Well, today I wanted to talk about trolls. And probably the best thing that I can do is I can talk about the two biggest trolls that I believe are part of the gaming community as it stands today. I just wanted to get this out, kind of vent it out, because... It's been bugging me for a while, especially with everything that has been going on, and I just want to sit here and get this stuff out, so that way I don't really have to bother with this topic again. But the ones that I want to talk about currently is DSP, as well as Anita Sarkeesian. Now to me, their gender really doesn't matter, it's their behavior that I'm looking at. And their behavior has been some of the worst that you can see for dsp i mean he has a victim complex he's very manipulative he sits here and blocks people he um doesn't handle criticism very well he wants to sit here and um complain about things i mean he's acting like an entitled a-hole and for the most part i don't think he's going to be able to do all that very much very soon but i'll get into that um, more later on. Now, for Anita Sarkeesian, yes, I've talked about her in my social justice rant. You can still see that. You can also see, say, the, um, the objective piece that I've done on her. I really don't care at this point, but I do want to sit here and get out some final things that I thought I wouldn't have to sit here and touch, but with her winning the GDC award, I want to put it into perspective what's going on there. And some things that kind of came up that I've seen that I think probably people may want to know. But let's go ahead. Let's go. Uh, let's get into DSP. I probably haven't said a lot about him because of the fact that a lot of the information about him has only just recently surfaced and I've been paying attention to it. Um, if you want down in the underbar, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link you to main event. Or event status um, and his video in regards to DSP and the reason that I'm linking to it that's the one that actually inspired me to sit here and go back into the archives remember what was going on with DSP and why I left him in the first place um, for me I was one of those quiet guys to just quietly left I was part of the um, community for a little bit what I did as part of the community I was you know, helping keeping the reviews upgraded and everything else. Not really to do anything. It was just kind of, oh, well, let's do this just to keep it, you know, nice, clean, tidy. And if anybody wanted to be a part of the forums, they probably saw my name. The reason that I started with DSP is because of the SOPA event. Now, that means that I was there around October, November-ish. His video on the SOPA, which I believe I still have in my favorites play it list, is the one where I basically got introduced to DSP. And DSP handled himself really well. He spoke very well. And I didn't know any of the backstory about DSP. But the reason that, you know, I became a part of the forum and the community, I was hoping, you know, he'd at least help out with the gaming community in some way shape or form he'd sit here and he'd start talking out or doing something of that nature and my whole thing is i can do a lot of video and research work that's kind of what i do on this channel um there's other things that i'm going to be doing but right now let's talk about the dsp thing well for me i had been watching his stuff so, you know he'd been complaining and he started to sit here and do things that I found that was odd in terms of the whole I think Panda Lee or whatever her name is Nicole Lee that was one of the things that I kind of noticed so when people are talking about him and her dating that happened maybe right after the SOPA event I want to say it was in February of 2012 I want to say it was around there he kind of closed it off. They didn't talk about it, but people were finding that out. Now, for me, 
it was odd, but it was like, eh, I'm just going to go and do my thing. And my thing was I was doing a lot of research for about copyright. Um, I don't think, well, actually, let me take that back. He was starting to date her. It was during the election. Mitt Romney was losing. And what was happening there is the fact that um, around maybe November, December, when we were doing the election, that's when it happened. Because the raid hadn't happened. That's how I kind of catalog this stuff. When Mega Upload was going up, that's when DSP kind of banned me. When Mega Upload went down, a day or two later, um, he had sat here and made a video about Mega Upload. And he said, well, it's, it's a pirate haven and all this other st stuff. And I was just saying, well, no, it's not a pirate haven. And I had my files up there. And the reason that I have my files up there is because I have I had a separate channel. And that separate channel, you know, it has my videos that I was making. So I'd always have a cloud backup copy. The problem is when the raid happened, it shut off my files. So I lost my work. It was not anything that was copyrighted, but it was something that was helped out. And I got into an argument with somebody else, and for whatever reason... DSP blocked me so I tried to sit here and talk and say hey what's going on why am I being blocked and you know just try to go through it and for the most part I was told well I got someone else got blocked too and I had left it at that and then event status pretty much brought up everything about DSP and so that's why I wanted to sit here and talk about DSP and his trolling, trollish behavior, just to let people know that was what I that's what I experienced. I mean, I had not known about the blip stuff. He kind of made it that that was manipulated, and then all of a sudden, you know, people have shown the video from him and Blip TV, which is absolutely amazing. All of the things that he does and how hypocritical that he can be. So for me, DSP, I'm probably not going to ever talk about again. But I just wanted to let people know exactly how I feel on that subject. Because when I get to the end of this talk, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you all exactly how he and Anita Sarkeesian are the same. Now, let's go ahead and let's go ahead into Anita Sarkeesian. And I have to admit, this woman is a real piece of work. And I, quite frankly, didn't understand everything that she was doing. There was a lot of manipulation going on. This thing with the Kickstarter, with her, her ethics, her lying, her silencing of women that she's supposed to be trying to represent. I cannot believe that she has so many supporters and they're, they'll defend her like the Seattle Seahawks defended the um, NFL championship. It was just It's just amazing how much people bum rush. There is no way that a rescue plot is sexist for a woman, but is not, is not sexist for a man. Her logic makes no sense. And yet people sit here and continue, continue to support her. I mean, the biggest things that have been coming out, Cow Kitty was one artist that she silenced by using fan art. And people will sit here and say, well, that fan art, you had to ask for permission. No, 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 no. She drew the fan art. She has an automatic copyright. Discussion over. If you don't understand that, Anita could have sat here and stopped the headache by using a little bit of money to commission a piece of artwork if she had so felt felt desired to do it. She did a Google search and got an image, took away the signature on it, and then used that for her own purposes. That's why that was unethic, unethical on her part. Then on top of that, you find out that she did this to another artist. So she's had done this twice. She silenced two women by not sitting here 
in citing their work work and citing her sources for all of her things that she's been doing she hasn't done that for damsels in distress one she hasn't done that for damsels in distress two she hasn't done that for damsels in distress three she hasn't done that for um miss male character all of the things that she's done is basically plagiarized her videos from her older videos and sat here and just readapted everything from her 2010 work or 2011 video series and done it right here and she rehashed everything from her old work um pad masher goes into very very explicit detail about that i've gone into the on um, into it and i've also shown you know tropes i've also shown real life examples and everything for you and that's going to be down in the underbar as well but the point here is there was so much manipulation and i think all of this manipulation was just so that she could be the laziest person out there simply put she had nothing to do with the gaming industry before this she's had nothing to do with it afterwards she's gotten an award she's gotten her money she's been on the um, academic circuit she sat here and basically misrepresented everybody her supporters her detractors everything this woman for all intents and purposes not only is she a pickup artist as jordan owens says but she is a con artist and she is a troll she is an internet troll she does nothing to substantiate her arguments her claims her work nothing and that is why you cannot take these type of people seriously you can't take anita seriously She's not trying to sit here and help you. She's not trying to sit here and bring tools to the argument. I mean, most of what she says is coming from a very biased source that has no idea what in the world is talking about. And once you present this evidence about rescue plots or, you know, first and um, primary and secondary characters, this whole thing falls apart. I don't think in any way, shape, or form this is about feminism. I don't think all feminists are like this or anything like that. But Anita, for all intents and purposes, has no credibility here. She doesn't play games. She said that. She's admitted it. The reason that the games are not as she says is because she didn't play them. We've had these type of people in the gaming industry before not only joseph Lieb joe lieberman but we've also sat here and didn't listen to hillary clinton we didn't listen to Leyland yi who just got arrested and all of his craziness about you know going to the supreme court i mean for all intents and purposes this is an agenda driven woman or i should say girl because it's just a sense of entitlement that she has and for that award that she's gotten one of the people that i really really am upset that she usurped that she took that award that in my opinion she took that award away from was robin hunnicky now when i talk about robin hunnicky i believe that's how her name is spelled it'll be down in the underbar but robin created a game called journey it's a heck of a lot better than Gone Home. It has you not fighting anybody. It has no known gender roles. It has a lot of symbolism, which I'll show in the underbar. But this game was very unique and great for what it did. And this is one of the many people, well, one of the four people that could have gotten an award that I feel deserved it a hell of a lot better than Anita Sarkeesian. Anita silenced women anita can't blame this on patriarchy and as far as i'm concerned with everything that's happened she's gotten her award she's with ea in terms of being a consultant and she did a horrible job there where she basically you know went there and told them they need better controls for women by making them easier when in 2010 this was the same time that she was telling professor klein that you know she doesn't play video games because she thinks they're gross 
But for all intents and purposes, Anita basically trolled everybody about video games, about how she presents herself, about her need for money. I mean, at this point, everybody knows that the money wasn't really used for, you know, the things that she said it was used for. And that's kind of a sad thing. All of this crap about cyberbullying, etc., 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 all of this didn't need to happen. She manipulated the dissent against her and then used that to make extra money because the 97% of people that she got money from were men who who got a huge guilt trip about her getting trolled when she spammed her stuff on Reddit, Kickstarter, Movie Bob's blog, etc., etc., etc. She used the the dissent. She deleted positive comments. All of these things. Now, how is she similar to DSP? As I've just said, you know, in terms of everything that they do, pretty much all of they do is they troll their fan base and try to sit here and make themselves a larger victim. They're children, honestly. They don't have those emotional responses like mature adults. They act like children, and then they expect to be rewarded for that enabling behavior. That's DSP as well as Anita. And more than likely, we'll have other people that do similar things. And I thought maybe one day I could make a video to sit here and prevent that. But the best I can do is sit here and just tell you guys. This is pretty much exactly these type of people. I mean, DSP, for all intents and purposes, has been in video games for six years doing this exact same routine. I mean, I know Kojima World Order is doing a pretty good job of continuously showing his hypocrisy. Anita, I mean, in less time than it takes for most people, has been exposed for a number of issues. Like, you know, the PUA thing. Not only the PUA thing, but... um. Her being a con artist because she conned people out of those, out of, you know, she misrepresented herself and showed herself in the most negative light because she wanted to play the victim card. And ironically, you know, her first trope was about the damsels in distress where she just basically rehashed everything that she's ever done and set, called it a day. There's no academic sources. I mean, everybody can dismiss this. The arguments are weak. She can't take the criticism. There's a lot better criticisms from Gaming Goose, Dangerous Analysis, Kite Tales, and she doesn't respond to any of it. She has a creationist method of research. I mean, it's just one thing after another. And this is supposed to be our quote-unquote gaming ambassador as given to us by the AAA gaming industry. I'll go into the AAA gaming industry um, more into detail at a later date. I actually have a few other rants that I want to sit here and finish up. But for the most part, in terms of these internet trolls, I just want you to look and see these people. Does gender really matter when it comes to internet trolling? Honestly, I'll let you sit here and be the judge. But for me, personally, it's not about the gender of who is talking about gender wars or whatever. Both of these people have really, 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 really bad personalities. And for the most part, I can never support people like this. That's just my thoughts. That's just my opinion. And hopefully, sometime in the near future, maybe we'll have some better people that can either A, talk about gender representation, or B, better re represent the gaming community than what DSP could have potentially done, but instead squandered it just to play the victim. That's all I got to say, and I'll see you all next time.